Hello everyone. I'm realizing now that I haven't actually started vlogging today. I think I got like one b-roll shot of my coffee being made and I'm about to head out the door for just like a little afternoon random uh, going to the park with my friends. It's so nice out. It's like 60 degrees and sunny. Well, the sun's starting to go down now because it's four something. I don't know. I've been all over the place today, but I haven't been vlogging. Um, I got some other like content stuff done for like a brand deal that I wanted to get out of the way and some more just stuff on my computer. There's an application that I've started working on. Now I'm stepping away because my friends have work off for President's Day. So like, let's go to the park, just hang out. And yeah, so um, I'm gonna put a couple like seltzers in a bag and go meet them at McCarran Park in Williamsburg. Nice little, why not, when it's nice out, go to the park. So that's what we're doing. And I'm wearing a sweatshirt and a vest because it's not even cold. Happy Tuesday. Um, I'll be vlogging more today, hopefully. I am headed out the door right now to go to a Soul Cycle class to start off my Tuesday morning. Uh, it's kind of raining, so I'm wearing something with a hood. I don't think it's actually supposed to rain. I haven't been to Soul Cycle in a couple weeks and I've missed it. I haven't been to this instructor before. I kind of just like went with what would fit my day best. So I'm going to a class at NoHo so then I can come back and still get some work done this morning before lunchtime, shower, do some laundry, um, get my shit together, and then I'm going on a date tonight. So I wanted to wash my hair anyway, so it's like soul cycle is perfect. Let's go. I don't know if I have the energy right now, I'm like still waking up, but I just chugged some coffee, so hopefully it'll hit me on the way there. for a date right now so I thought that I would show you guys I, my pants were unbuttoned because I was like oh this would be fun like get dressed with me but like I'm already wearing a bodysuit and yeah really exciting and I'm pretty sure like I already know that I'm gonna wear this I'm not really comparing outfit pieces necessarily but this is like a tried and true outfit I've worn this a million times comfortable cute flattering good all good things um this bodysuit is Princess Polly and the pants are from Gap so I'm gonna put on my jewelry, which is also the same stuff, different day. I'm really not sure if it's supposed to rain or not. I'm like, ugh, do I bring an umbrella? I probably should just to be safe. I'm not going super far, but I think I'm gonna take the bus. Yeah, it's in Park Slope. We're going to an Italian restaurant for dinner. It's not a first date. I wouldn't probably do dinner on a first date, unless I knew the person, but I'm excited. It'll be good. Hopefully. <laughs> I've been like sucking this week uh, at filming, but this morning I went to Soul Cycle to start off my day. That was great. I went to Elena's class and she was so fun. It was like great energy. She like brought in the entire staff at one point and everyone was just jamming to Britney Spears and it was fun. I, I will say she played a lot of like hardcore EDM that I didn't know, which is, you know, all well and good, but I like classes where I know the music a lot more. So if that's your style, then maybe try her class. But usually I'm more for the like sing-songy. I like the mainstream like pop songs in spin classes just because that's what gets my energy going like when I know the song. Um, but yeah, it was a good class. And then I came home and showered. Also working on these other applications that I wanna get done this week. They're not due until next week. But since I'm leaving for Los Angeles, I don't wanna have to worry about them next week. Even though like, hmm, I don't know, I'm spending a few days. I'm gonna be in LA from Saturday till Thursday. And my friends that I'm visiting are also gonna be working while I'm there for part of it. Like they're taking some time off, but not the entire week. So I definitely know that I'll have some downtime where I'll just probably be able to get some stuff done on my own. Um, but I don't want to need to, you know what I mean? Like I'd rather have those things that I know I want done and then I'll have some like bonus time to work on things that I need to next week. I'm kind of bummed because this weekend I broke my favorite pair of boots that I wear every day. These are like these chunky black 
booties and actually they look pretty decent now for my do i dare wear them <laughs> i was not even doing anything crazy i was at a bar for my friends we did a little like daytime bar crawl in greenpoint for my friend's birthday and it was the first place like i was sipping on my first drink i was not drunk i was just just standing there talking and kind of like doing the thing where you roll your ankle a little bit like i don't know just a nervous habit or something i don't know um and then i realized that something felt weird and i looked down and the heel was detached from the shoe so it completely broke off i'm kind of like testing it now because i glued it it doesn't feel secure yeah i shouldn't wear this and it just got progressively worse as we kept going i could like walk in them fine um but yeah it was definitely like it started to get down to this point and i luckily no falls or anything like that the next day we had brunch and then i went to a hardware store and got some fabric glue or not fabric glue, it's flexible glue, which I thought would be good for a shoe, but I'm not sure if it's strong enough. So I glued it, put a weight in it <laughs> to hold it down and try and repair it. And then I put some of the glue like on the outside too, but I just don't know. It doesn't look very secure. Okay, I have these pointed boots that I don't think are gonna look very good. Also, I just realized the TV is probably distracting. I was texting this guy that I'm going out with tonight and we were just talking about the weekend and stuff and I sent him a picture of my broken shoe um, just because I thought it was funny. And he was like, oh, I can fix that pretty easily. Like, bring it to the restaurant tonight. That's very kind and generous to offer. But I will probably not be bringing my broken shoe to a nice restaurant. I'm texting my friends about this right now that I need to get a ticket for this thing. We're going to do an espresso martini making class on Thursday, which will be really fun. And it's at this rooftop bar in Williamsburg that we haven't been to but it's near where they live. I think they have it every Thursday and you pay a fixed price. You get like a welcome drink. You get to make a couple drinks and it includes something else like snacks or something and it seems fun. So one of my friends is moving out of the city this weekend which is sad but she's not moving far so she'll be able to visit but I won't be here when she's actually moving because I'm leaving for LA so we wanted to do a little bit of a like cute last hurrah during the week. Feeling kind of low energy. Maybe I'll chug some Alani new energy drink or something and then head out. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is about to rain, so I'm gonna try and get out and move locations before it starts. I get out, I think I mentioned this yesterday, I just wanna get a lot of stuff done. Um, the application that I wanna finish this week is pretty involved. It's like one of the ones where there's multiple essay questions instead of just a CV and a cover letter. In place posted another posting that's kind of similar that I'm also going to apply to, so that's even more of that. And I have to get this video up for this week. I still haven't finished editing it. I don't know why sometimes editing just like drives me crazy. And I've had an editor in the past, but it feels like silly for me to outsource editing when I, this is my full time right now. You know what I mean? Even though it's not my favorite thing to do. Besides the point, I'm gonna do this one, um, but I'm prioritizing the job application. So I just have many things that I need to do. But yeah, the date last night was really fun. We went to this really cozy little Italian spot um, in Park Slope. It was called Al di la Trattoria. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop in Cobble Hill or Gorham Hill, not far from here, but I'm gonna hop on the G train. And I have a few bookmarked over there that I haven't tried yet. And I might just bop around and see which one has like a good setting for setting up for working and stuff. So let's go. Also, I never listened to Call Her Daddy. I never really got into it, but I recently, I think it was last week's vlog, I talked about Kelsey Ballerini's new EP. And she, I saw on TikTok that she did an episode with Call Her Daddy that comes out today talking about the whole divorce and the album. So I'm gonna listen because I'm curious and I love the album or the EP, whatever. Yep, Kelsey Ballerini, Divorce to 29. It came out, what's today? February 22nd? What is up, Daddy Gang? It is your founding father, Alex Cooper, with Call Her. I 
got my newly package so i'm trying stuff on um this is not the right bra so please ignore that because you can see it but this is the dress i'm gonna wear to sierra's bridal shower this weekend um i feel like it's very showery it's almost like kind of kids eastery but that's also very like sierra's vibes the pastels and the frilly it's actually pretty comfortable i think this is a medium let me check it's actually gonna be kind of chilly it's gonna be 55 degrees on saturday so i'll have to figure out some sort of sweater or coat to wear with this when we're outside this is the puff mini dress by selkie in size medium and then this sweater actually kind of reminded me of the swirly one i got in october that was like a big nude spiral and then this is kind of like i don't know the inside of a log or something um it's medium large but it's actually not as oversized as i was expecting like it hits right at the top of my hips it's so cute i love the design brand is find me now this is the traverse wave knit sweater in medium large so yeah if you want to oversize definitely size up i'm glad i got this one i don't think this is gonna play well with the other things that i got so i'm gonna just put on like a black t-shirt or something for the other ones this i have had bookmarked for so long on newly and it's gone on and off the website so much i feel like it's probably just really popular but i was stoked to see it in stock in my little <laughs> saved closet section and this is from Urban Outfitters. It's a large. I think the design of this is so fun. Really into the geometric stuff. The body is lined differently. Like the sleeves are kind of satiny and the body's cotton. This is so cozy. Yes, this is ideal. I might wear this on the plane on Saturday because it's like a blanket, but not too much either. Elastic on the bottom, so it kind of tapers in. It cuts above the booty. It's called the Olivia Printed Sherpa Jacket if you're just looking on their website. So it has kind of like a Sherpa softer shoulder and sleeve on top and then also kind of like a fake leather finish. This is interesting. I don't think I like this as much as I was expecting. Not as sleek as I thought it would look on, but it's really lightweight. It's called the Tanya Mixed Media Shirt Jacket by Heartloom. This one's by Ichi. And I couldn't remember if I've actually ordered this one before. I definitely had something similar. This is the Hasana short jacket. It's definitely not super heavy. It is a medium. So yeah, sleeves are a good length. It's very lightweight. This will be good for LA too, honestly. My favorite color scheme. It has side pockets. This is fun. This was just the month of me finally getting all of the things that I've had on my bookmarks for ages and wanted to try this one. So unique so cute i saw lindsay hughes get this one time so i was like yeah obviously i need it because it was already in my basket and then when i saw her wearing it i was like that is even cuter than i thought i would be and i just love this little tree pattern it's so cozy the lining is like soft cabin cozy by the fire energy yeah this is the brushed melton short jacket by bdg it's a medium that was six items but they gave me a bonus item i think because there was an issue with my order not unlocking when i sent it back so i had to email them but they were super responsive and prompt with it so they gave me a bonus item which i wasn't expecting but this is nice because most of the other things are like on the lighter weight side because honestly it hasn't been that freezing cold but this one i think is a warmer coat coat this is from urban Oh wow, it's like oversized. Look at that sleeve. And it's cropped. This will be good for the rain here and in LA. And I love the style. It's like the utility style. It's adjustable on the bottom. I think the coat or the hood detaches. Oh, this is like one of the full coverage. Yeah, I can cover my entire face with this. Maybe I'll wear this to Universal Studios on Monday because it's probably gonna rain. You guys, this is so cute. I love this one. I want to buy everything I got. Like all of these are a hit in my book. Oh, this is so cute. Maybe I'll wear this on the plane because it's kind of puffy and it wouldn't take up space in my suitcase. I haven't decided if I'm going to take my check bag or a carry-on. I'm not good at being a carry-on kind of packer though, so that might be a challenge, but we'll see. Maybe I'll try it. If it flops, oh well. I actually got a lot done at that coffee shop for this application that I'm working on. I outlined it and kind of like started to fill out what examples I want to use for certain questions and kind of like taking pieces from previous cover letters and essays that I've written. I might take a break from it and do some video editing now that I'm home. And I booked the espresso martini making class with my friends on Thursday. It's feeling good. So I'm on a roll. I want to keep getting stuff done. The coffee shop was really nice to work at though. I went to Poetica Coffee. It was very chill. Uh, their Wi-Fi wasn't working. So, I mean, I mostly worked offline anyway and I would use my hotspot a little bit, but.
Okay, I'm doing my laundry right now. I'm also watching Love Island, so I'm just kind of like rolling up and putting away things. Rolling things up, putting them away. And I really need to be like, tomorrow's my last day before I leave for LA, so I need to be on top of my shit. I got all of my content stuff done. I was up pretty late editing last night, later than I wanted to be but that's my own fault. I got everything squared away. I just need to, I posted a video and I'm posting a reel for a brand. I have my espresso martini class with my friends tonight. I'm so excited. It's at six, so it's kind of early. Not sure where the evening's gonna take us from there. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna get as much done today as I can. So I'm gonna like get this done and then park up at my desk and focus. I got it, I'm Are you guys watching this season of Love Island? What do you think? It's not my favorite season so far, but I like some of the people. Okay, I'm ready to head out to my espresso martini making class. I'm so pumped. As you guys know, I've been talking about this all week. I'm a few minutes late, but I think I'm only late to like the welcome drink and the class doesn't start until like 15 minutes after that. So I think I'll be okay. I'm wearing kind of like a comfy casual outfit. Um, I don't really know what our plans are afterwards because one of my friends wanted to go to a ticketed event at Elsewhere, which is, it's like dancey DJ vibes. I'm not really dressed for that. Um, I don't know if we'll end up there, but we'll probably just get some drinks after the class. I'm just wearing black jeans, black sweater, and this little newly guy that I got. It's kind of thin, but I think it's like mid 40s, so it's not super freezing, and we're gonna be indoors, so. That's my rationale. I think it looks good with black. I like black and tan together. Let's go learn to make some yummy espresso martinis. I'm also excited just to see this rooftop and hopefully I get some footage to show you guys. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Going up to the roof of Coda. I think it's a hotel, but the rooftop is called Creatures. Full. Full. All the way to the top. <laughs> Come on. No, I don't know. No, Sarah. Then you're flipping the <laughs> No. And it's to that line. The harsh the light and everything. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Incredible. Dominant hand on the bottom. Or the top. I can't remember. Hello everyone, we are back. It's Friday morning. Actually, I think it just turned noon. I spent the morning um, getting some packing done. Well, I haven't actually packed, but I've picked out my outfits, tried them on, taken pictures of them, and laid them out. So I'm gonna pack them later, but I'm stepping away to, and I've also gotten some other stuff done. I still need to do more on that application. I don't think I'm actually gonna finish it, but I'll find a time. It'll happen, it'll get done. 
um, procrastination at its finest. But I, really quick, I'm gonna go run and get some coffee. I'm craving Starbucks, so I'm having to treat yourself. Friday coffee, as one does and should. Um, and I'm gonna wear this warm little coat I got from Newly. The class was so much fun last night, you guys. I would highly recommend it. It's not super cheap, but also you got, a, it was a good deal because you got a welcome drink when you got there, two espresso martinis, and they gave us a shot. I think they only gave it to our group though because the guy really liked us. But also like we were the last to make our drinks at the end. So I think that was like his, you know, compensation. He was so nice. The guy who taught the class and the other bartenders, barbacks that were there, so helpful. And I have a recipe card now, so I can make them at home. And I have an espresso. I don't have coffee liqueur, that's what I'm missing. But I have simple syrup. I feel like I could make it. And I have a shaker, not the same one. I learned how to do the like double cup thing. I've never taken a cocktail class or like done any sort of bartending. Um, so yeah, it was just really fun. I got to get behind the bar. I think my friend got footage of me doing that, so that's fun. After that, we went to The Thief, or just Thief, and Got a couple snacks. They actually had snacks at the espresso martini place too. So that was also included in the price. So yeah, I mean, I feel like it was a fair thing. So definitely recommend with your friends for like a date night or something. It could be cool. Yeah, afternoon priorities are get done packing early in case I end up having social plans tonight. I actually don't know what we're doing, which I don't really plan to be out late because I have to be up at 4.45 for my flight. So I don't know, we'll see where that goes. I also need to like wash my hair at some point, but I don't know if I'm planning to work out and if I have time, blah, blah, blah. Let's go get some coffee. I'm gonna place my Starbucks mobile order right now. I don't know why I was craving like white chocolate. So I got cold brew with a pump of white chocolate sauce. Coffee run and get my shit packed. I'm gonna try and fit it in my carry-on first. I don't have much faith. <laughs> a little overview. I'm wearing this one on the plane. And it's actually pretty warm. Um, it's pretty much gonna be 55 degrees the whole time I'm there and raining most of the days, except the bridal shower, thank God. So I think I'm also gonna wear this when we go to Universal on Monday, cause it's gonna be raining, so I wanna have a hood. This is my bridal shower outfit, the dress with denim jacket. Then I have a couple like shacket outfits. I just have a white tee and jeans with this shacket and mock neck with this shacket and I might grab some black jeans or maybe my leather pants for this one. I'm wrapping up this vlog because it's now getting into the evening on Friday. I didn't even finish everything that I wanted to. I'm feeling a little bit stressed, but this happens every single time. <laughs> so, you know, we'll get through it. Um, hopefully I'll get to bed in the next couple hours. I need to still wash my hair shower. Um, packing's pretty much done. I'm just adding a couple last minute things, finishing up toiletries, etc and then wrapping up some computer work. So including that, I wanted to get this footage imported so I can maybe edit it on my trip tomorrow or some place else. But love you guys so much. I will try to vlog some in LA. I don't think I'm gonna bring this camera, but I'll do some phone vlogging and I'll see you in my next vlog. So, bye.